Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Token Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Saiyan Pride, Vegeta and Goku, or I should say Vegeta Exchange Goku unit. Now this unit is interesting. Uh, I think for me, you know, there's been a lot of backlash and I think I kind of agree this time. Uh, We'll talk about it a little bit further on, but let's go through the details. So, their planet Namek Saga lead of 150% and type lead of 100%. Greatly raising attack permanently on their 12 key while raising defense for one turn. And then their 18 key, they raise attack and defense for three turns while causing mega colossal damage to the enemy. They have key plus three, attack and defense of 180%, an additional four key and damage reduction of 30% when HP is 30% or more. An additional 4 key and additional attack, there's a high chance of coming a super when HP is 50% or more. An additional 4 key and launches another attack, there's a great chance of coming a super attack when HP is 70% or more. An additional attack and defense of 150% when attacking. If HP is 50% or less at the start of their attacking turn or starting from the 5th turn from the start of battle, they will revive with 70% HP by exchanging with Goku when you or an ally attacking the same turn is KO'd. They have Brutal Beatdown, Prodigies, Sam Pride, Sam Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power as their links. In their base form, Crit is definitely the best decision here because there are so many additionals that they have. When you transform into Goku, Goku, Goku greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn on the 12 key. Greatly raises attack and defense for three turns on the 18 key. Key plus 10 and attack and defense of 200%. An additional attack and defense of 159% when performing a super. Flat damage reduction of 30% with a 50% crit chance. Then there is also an additional key plus 3. And attack of 59% when there is an extreme class enemy. And an additional damage reduction of 30% and performs a guaranteed critical hit when there is another planet Namek Saga category ally attacking in the same turn. Or a planet Namek Saga enemy. Now the big issue with this unit is that if you do not have AGL Vegeta, you basically don't really have a unit to run with this guy. There are a couple big issues when it comes to running this unit. Firstly, let's talk about the difference between base and second form. In base form, you want to have crit. The base form of Vegeta is actually pretty strong. 30% damage reduction, 3 or 4 super attacks, and then on top of all of that, pretty high defense after super. The base form of Vegeta is actually very useful. I find it almost more useful than Goku. On top of that as well, although slightly worse off than stats, generally speaking, all those additionals, plus the fact that you could build them into crit, generally means that he looks really, really good. This all changes when you transform into Goku. Goku himself loses every single additional and instead gains crit chance. The fundamental shift between an additional facing passive unit to a crit facing unit is very big when it comes to build. So what happens is you end up building for either the base form of Vegeta or you end up building for the transform state of Goku. This makes things very difficult to work around as the concept is a little bit difficult to understand. If you build your Vegeta with the Goku phase in mind, you pretty much gimp the Vegeta permanently. If you build your unit with the Goku phase in mind, you pretty much gimp the Vegeta phase. The big thing is, it would make more sense if getting the Vegeta to revive was a lot easier to do. Getting Vegeta to revive is actually surprisingly difficult unless you intentionally sacrifice them. As a second or third slot unit, they just are really, really good. I actually genuinely like the Vegeta form. It's also not that restrictive. Like Yes, there's an HP restriction, but for most hard content, you tend to remain above 30% HP. Because of that, you also tend to generally remain above HP of 50%. It's very unusual to fall below these brackets. So... At this point then, it becomes a bit difficult to measure up the unit. When you transform into Goku, the other big thing is that you are required to really have Goku access his full capabilities to have a Planet Namek Saga unit 
as an ally or as an enemy. The thing is, without Goku's additional 30% damage reduction, he's essentially just a crit focused version of Vegeta. Slightly better stat, sure, but he's really just a crit focused version. Remember Goku's 59% attack is locked behind facing a extreme enemy, not behind facing a super enemy. So whereas Vegeta is okay in pretty much all situations, Goku himself will only really outshine Vegeta offensively when he's facing an extreme unit. So immediately this is just weird. It's just a very, I think, like, I think the way they've changed it or the way they've made the unit is that the two units feel like two completely separate units more so than an extension of the baseline unit. So for me, reviving into Goku, I have to be functionally aware that I'm actually looking to run a different style of unit than I am to Vegeta. A lot of the times with exchanges or revives, generally speaking what you're getting is either an augmented version of the unit, a flat out better version of the unit, or at least a unit that functions in the same way. Then the issue with Goku is you go from having Vegeta, whose HP requirement, to Goku, whose category requirement. There's very few Planet Dynamic Saga units that can run on all the categories you'd want to run this team, this unit on. Yes, DB Seekers and Planet Dynamic Saga, it's easy to get these units there. Planet Dynamic Saga itself, questionable. The big thing here is, of course, on every other team, Planetary Destruction, Powerful Comeback, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta Family. Outside of AGO Vegeta, you don't have a Planet Dynamic Saga unit to run. You could maybe run Strength Transforming Goku, one of the other LRs, but you're not getting a lot of links there, and they are a bit dated. So I think that's really what holds back this unit. They designed very clearly the Goku form to be used with Vegeta on a Planet Dynamic Saga team. And that's fine because obviously AGL Vegeta came out and I get that they really want to service that unit. But Planet Dynamic Saga is still missing one or two units to really be top of the line. Now if the Gohan and Piccolo had been on the Namekian category, I then think everything would be fine. Like yes, this unit would be tied to Planet Dynamic Saga, but Nail could be run with Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan and Piccolo would activate the full passive. Nail would get his full passive, these guys could run on the other rotation with the AGL Vegeta. Then you're looking at a really fun, really interesting team that works really nicely. The thing is, without that Namekian category and Piccolo category being filled out, Nail doesn't run the same. So I think that's a big miss. Overall, the unit is not bad. I just think the difficulty in making these units shine is a bit too much considering the moment this unit is from. I really like this unit and I still like their performance. I just wish it was a bit easier to make them shine at that level. And that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.